Joanne. Welcome to the Let's Get Organized YouTube Hop I do with a bunch of my friends. And today we are talking about small embellishments. So here's a little overview of my craft room for you. I'm trying not to move too fast. I don't want to make anybody dizzy. So I keep small embellishments in several different locations. Um, the first one is in my We Are Memory Keepers Rose Bloom. And then my acrylic drawers here. Also in the drawers, and then over here, I keep a bunch of stuff in there as well. And then I will pull a drawer out and show you some really cool stuff. There are skinny long drawers right here and again on the other side. So I will pull all those out and I will show you some stuff. First drawer I want to talk about is one of my favorites and I have discussed this before but this is a 13 by 13 case from Michaels. I can link that for you below and I just want to talk about it again because I think Ramble Fox is considered small embellishments. So I just made some paper inserts for that with some pink fresh paper and I decided to organize my Ramble Fox by color so there's white, gray, silver, and black on the bottom. And then on top, I did small ones here because this is all stuff that pertains to cats because I have cats. Teal, light teal, light blue, all yellow stuff over there. And up here is really pretty light blue and this has got all pink tones of one sort or another. I just wanted to make sure that I showed you that a little bit. Okay, so there's that. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is the We Are Memory Keepers Rose Bloom. I love these things. They are so adorable. They're not very expensive. I think they're 20 or less. Um, I know I picked mine up at Tuesday morning, and I know that you can get them at Amazon, okay? So I may have seen them also at Joann's or Michael's one time, but just go online. Amazon's probably your safest bet. Um, they came out with these quite a few years ago, so... If I know you can still get them, you can get them in white, which is kind of a little bit of an off-white and light pink in this blue, okay? So the reason it's called the Rose Bloom is you twist it and it opens up. So I keep all teeny, teeny embellishments in my Rose Blooms. I'll just show you the one, and this is my favorite one because it has all flare buttons in it from Yes Please Paper Crafts Button Shop, which are my favorite flare buttons. Um, they're absolutely amazing. The best flare buttons I've ever seen. High quality, gorgeous designs. Um, and in full disclosure, one of my best friends, Karen Yego from Yes Please Papercraft, she owns the shop and makes them. And I buy these from her. And sometimes she gifts them to me in happy mail. So I just wanted to tell you that. But there's so many compartments in here. Let me show you. The first one is right here on top. It just opens up. And, and here I have all my flare buttons categorized um, in different categories. I know that sentence was bad, but <laughs> up here is fall and Halloween. So it's just really, really super cute. I mean, look at how adorable, right? And then their flare buttons are totally awesome because there's a little dip in there. So you can put your foam square on there like that and it gives space for the foam square so it doesn't make it super dimensional. And they're just so high quality. I love it. And then a little noise here, okay? I'm trying to open this really slow because it is noisy to open. But look at that. Oh my gosh. Let me do this. Hope I don't jiggle the camera too much and make you sick. I just want you to be able to see the whole thing. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it so much. Now, I keep this right here at my station behind my chair. So I can just twirl in my chair when I go, oh, I need to put a flare button on my layout. So I can do that. So let me just show you. Here is all Easter. So there's little bunnies and stuff like that. How super cute. Next up is a little category for butterflies. This has to do with books or reading. This is all going to the fair. And that's it. It seems like there should be one right here, doesn't there? I think there has to be. Is it stuck? Oh my gosh, it's stuck closed. Isn't that funny? I was like, wait a minute. It looks like there's supposed to be one right there too. And there wasn't. Stayed right in there. Okay, and then this one is... What is this one? Oh, this one is all about scrapbooking. I couldn't see it. 
and then next it they start off small and they get bigger as they go down and then over here are random things that didn't go in any of the other categories this is fourth of july um, this is flowers and these are custom buttons i'll come back to this in a minute and over here are also random things but a lot of things that have really cool florals and cameras and stuff on them i love them let me see if i can get this super close without the glare aren't they beautiful the amount of designs that they have is that she has is just absolutely amazing okay so yep we went through all these now these are custom buttons you can also get these in the button shop so say for example you have a picture of your child or your cat or anything that's your own personal photo karen will also make you a button for that those are just a very little bit more than the rest of them but very well worth it so she has made me tons and tons of different buttons that are my photographs so let me just I'm going to grab a couple so you can see. Um, oh, that one's stuck. I must have had some glue on it. I'm so sorry about the noise. All right, so here's just four I picked out. Let me get it super close. Okay, so there's three of my cats. And then that's my daughter. So isn't that cool that she can make custom buttons like that too? And like, here's my niece. And here's me and my husband. And here's me and my son you know just all things like that and so you know, here's my great niece and her birthday it's just really cool that you can get that from her all right so down here are all like pink buttons and here are all my summer buttons so if i'm making a summer layout i can just go to this section and know that that i can look through those to match the layout that i'm doing for summer Okay, and then here is all black or gray type buttons that have words or patterns on them. And then here is all, <laughs> you're going to laugh, this whole drawer is all stuff about cats because obviously I just showed you I have cats, but uh, every single one of the buttons in this section right here either says I love my cat, like how cute is this one, I love my kitty. And look at the cute kitties on there. All kinds of different kitty stuff. So that's what this whole area is. So if I was doing a layout about my cats, I could just look through these and see which one matched the collection I was using that day. This is my favorite section ever. This is the brand new one that she just came out with the October bundle and patterns. Oh, like these are totally my colors. I am so in love with these collections. It's not even funny. I will list um, Karen's button shop below. Let me show these to you. Are these not the most gorgeous things you've ever seen? The colors. I mean, I would like to make my whole house look like this. Isn't that beautiful? So that's called October. Okay. I'll link that below too. So again, you could probably pick up one of these at Amazon if you wanted to and if you have a tuesday morning next to you that you know that's not too far away you can always go in there and they might possibly have one i can't guarantee it though okay okay the first thing i want to show you is i store my ephemera or anything that goes with that collection that's small in these photo cases i will do a five by seven or a four by six this one happens to be a five by seven I take the ephemera packaging and I put it on top so I know what is in this box I put this there and then I will put the little enamel dots these happen to be puffies or anything like that it's come with it this ink came with the hip kit collection so I wanted to make sure that that was in there and then here's all my ephemera it's easier for me to pull this out and look at it that way and then underneath I do have the pocket cards that came with that kit Okay, so that's an idea to keep your small stuff together with your collections. Got this on Amazon. I did show this before, but I'll show it again just in case you missed the last video. This is a little acrylic drawer organizer. Again, I got it from Amazon. I will link it below for you. And I thought it was going to be bigger, but, you know, happy accident. It turned out that I needed it for these things. So on the top is all silver charms and things like, you know, the hooks, the lobster claws to make the charms and hang them off the side of my mini albums. Things like that all in silver. 
And then the next one is all my gold stuff. And I did have some extra space, so I have like little teeny bows. Look how cute those are. I got those from Spellbinders um, a while ago. I'm not sure if they're still available. But I picked these up at like Joann's in like the jewelry section. And you can get a lot of stuff from AliExpress. That's what these are from here. My friend Karen gifted those to me. But these are just like in the jewelry section of Joann's or Michael's little charm sets and I hang them off the side of my mini albums and then this on the bottom is just all my buttons well not all I have buttons somewhere else too I'll show you there's brads and buttons in here and then I just put them grouped by color so I could just pick the color that I wanted these awesome acrylic drawers I'll link these below too these are big I got these at Amazon how big it is so what I did here is I needed a place to put my leftover embellishments the things that you know you're done with the collection you've used all the paper but you don't want to toss the remaining embellishments that you have so I made these little drawers to hold that extra stuff and mostly this is pink fresh studio so on the bottom I just keep my enamel dots that don't match a collection I keep my collections all together I just keep my enamel dots all together down here these are Gina Marie these are alt to do and then here's some from the stamp market and then these two are just literally spare enamel dots left over from past collections that I've already gone through and again you don't want to toss your stuff and you need a little someplace to keep things so this is perfect for that and I made paper inserts for this with some paint for studio paper, see? And then this one I have broken down into paper die cuts that were left over from, you know, two or three different paint for studios that I already went through. These are all the chipboard frames that were left over here. And in here are little tassels and things that are like circles, you know, like little circle things left over from the kits in there and then up on top I was practicing with a die cut I just didn't have any place to put that so I put it there so it didn't get ruined up here I have spare things these are some words from pink fresh studio I have some um, shimmers paint stuff this is leftover tags from hip kit I already went through that kit but I can pull this out and make a card or do anything I want over here is just all pink fresh stuff and over here is all leftover puffy stickers from past collections so this way if I divide them up then it's a little bit neater this is um, a second of the third three drawer big acrylic organizers I got from Amazon and what I put in here is all my Bramble Fox you know that is not included in that 13 13 13 by 13 that I just showed you on the bottom I can't show you this this is upcoming Bramble Fox design team work and I keep this drawer empty specifically for that so I know what my next projects are and then here is Bramble Fox that's my design team schedule I gotta put it on a calendar or I'll forget um, all Bramble Fox still um, ribbons um, Bramble Fox metal dies are in there and all my Bramble Fox stencils are here and I keep this literally right next to where I sit so I can grab it easily all right we'll put that back in there and then the top is all my fall perspectives from Bramble Fox because fall is my favorite everything I love fall so much and here's some little Bramble Fox, these are fabric leaves. Oh my god, I love them. And then all kinds of fall Bramble Fox perspectives. So when I make my fall album, this is where I know I can get my title from. Okay. And then over here is wood veneer Bramble Fox. Little apples. Oh my goodness, right? And then let me see what else is in here. And then just little teeny Bramble Fox embellishments, little animals for fall, and things like that. And then this one, these are just little crystal bowls I got from my kitchen, and I thought they'd fit in here nice. These are all Bramble Fox leaves in all kinds of different colors, okay? So I'll list Bramble Fox below if you liked anything that you saw. This is just from Michael's, and this is the three-drawer washi holder from Michael's. Now, 
with these, you can buy these individually, but you can also get a whole package of them um, for more. I think you can get six of them in a bundle for a little bit less if you needed that many and you didn't. If you like these and you don't have them, so make when you search on Michaels, make sure that you look for that. I'm sure you can get this on Amazon too, but I always buy mine at Michaels. These are just all washi tape, and I store them by manufacturer or designer, I should say, either one. So for this one, this entire drawer is all Maggie Holmes washi tape, and I do have a little bit of space left here. But that's all Maggie Holmes. And then the next two drawers, I do have two of these, but it's the same thing. You don't need to see both of them. This is all Simple Stories washi tape, and I do have a little bit of room left here on these that if I got some more, you know, especially if you get a Simple Stories warehouse box, they always end up giving you tons of beautiful washi. So be on the lookout for that. As a matter of fact, I think there's one going on right now for Black Friday. A Christmas warehouse box from Simple Stories. So simplestories.com if you want to go look. So there's all Simple Stories. And then say for example, I know that all of these are Simple Vintage Weathered Garden. So I keep them together. And this is Indigo Garden. And then up here is all random Simple Stories. But if I had one or two of the same one, I'll keep them together. You can see like this. And up in here okay this is also the washi tape cat fur this is always also the washi tape holder okay and instead of washi tape I just use those little jars let me show them to you I love them you can grab these at Michaels Joann's or Amazon's they're just the little jars with the screw tops on it and you can fit two of them stacked up so you know one two three four five six two by six so this does hold a lot so here I have it these are just random sequins that I've gotten from Joann's button galore and more in love art shop and then up here is all my Spiegel mom scrap sequins and then here is all pink fresh studio it with the exception of like these over I had the extra space so I put some more in there from like buttons galore and more but this and all these front two are all pink fresh studio gems and crystals these are the new pink fresh studio ones oh my god look at those I love these so much they're gorgeous isn't it pretty so there's those and then here all buck buttons galore and more wow <laughs> sprinklets they're called they're kind of like little plastic pieces but you know look there's watermelons candy canes flowers things like that and then these are all just um these are all in the front two rows are all my shimmers paints sequins because i'm on the shimmers paints design team so i want to make sure that i'm using their sequins on my shimmers paints projects you know what i'm saying so these are all shimmers sequins and if you need any shimmers paints or sequins um if you leave my name in the comment box of your order then you get a free gift and usually the free gift is a little jar of a color so that's an awesome free gift so remember that if you have any questions about shimmers or bramble fox please let me know i'm happy to help you Okay, so this one is kind of a mess right now because this fell out and I had things separated, but eh, it is what it is. So in here are all tassels and bows. Look at these bows. I love them. All tassels and bows that I would put on a mini album or you could put these on a scrapbook page too. Why not, right? So that's what all of these are if I want to make a charm to go up the side of my albums. And then next we have this is gems and these are just packages of gems that I really haven't opened yet but also the really long ones and I got these from Michaels um, so long ago I'm sure they still have them but there's all kinds of different colors and everything 
in here and they fit in here pretty perfect it's a could be a little bit longer for them but it fits relatively well you can cut those up or they're 12 by they're 12 inches so they're great as um, a strip between two pieces of pattern paper they look really nice and add some bling to your pages so that's just all what's in here and then you know some random packages of things from like Hobby Lobby that I just kind of put in here and then next this is my favorite drawer ever <laughs> well besides my pink fresh seek um gems and my bramble fox drawers this is my favorite drawer because I am literally obsessed with honeybee stamp little gems and they are retiring these so I know for Black Friday that honeybee stamps is having a 20% off um clearance I think it is and these are in their retired clearance section so if you want these go get them now so I keep them in the packages because I don't want them to get popped off and fling across and uh, lose them but I've just got like every single color that you could possibly imagine and this one I lost the packaging and that one too apparently um so just all the different colors and then I do have a whole bunch of just like the clear ones Okay, so I just keep these in there and I spread them out like this just so you can get more in there. So I could still get some more in there if I wanted to. And that I keep literally right next to me because I use them constantly at like almost every layout. And then this one is just random gems that no longer have the packaging for one reason or another. And then this way if I keep them in here, they're safe. They're not banging off all over the room and stuff like that and these could be from god knows where all different places so these are just unpackaged random leftover jummies and let me see what else do i have next i have this one which is super fun this is all my tassels and charm things that you get you know like at in the jewelry aisle at Joanne's or Michael's. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. It's a tassel. It's already made for you. It's got the lobster claw, two pom-poms, and this. Oh my god, right? I had to have that. And then this one is so cute. It'd be nice for a Valentine. You could use it as a keychain too, but how cute would that look off the side, hanging off the side of your mini album? Love it. And then, you know what I'm saying? Just these things like you get at the jewelry section of Joanne's and Michael's. I always love putting these on the sides of my mini albums. They're so, so, so beautiful. So I'll just pick up random ones that I think are really pretty. Like, look at these butterflies. And then I'll just keep them here. And whenever I make a mini album, I'll come in here and see if any of them match the album that I've made or the collection, the papers in the collection that I've used. All right, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I've showed you all my small stuff. I don't, looking around the craft room, I don't see any more small stuff in any other spots besides what I have already mentioned to you. So I will link all that stuff below. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the description box below are the other people who are also showing you some stuff they do in their craft room. And it's always super interesting to look at other people's stuff. So be sure to check out those links. Like and sub subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. I thank you so much for stopping to see me. Bye.